morning, Yarna Bees. Or good afternoon or good evening, wherever it is and where you are. <laughs> How are you doing today? Today is, I think it's the 3rd of August. Oh, August, October. <laughs> oh, wow, October already. Holy man. Um, what an eventful day already. We just took the dogs for a walk. And Diesel was, found a friend who was also another big dog. And they were running around like crazy at high speed. And you've seen Diesel. He's like this wide and built like a brick, you know, what house. Um, and the other dog was like this big, thin um, farm dog kind of thing, but fast really fast and Diesel was like, yeah, let's play. So they were running around like crazy. Yes, I'm talking about you. Um, he was running around like crazy at very high speeds and I had to pick Odie up because I was afraid that she was gonna get trampled. And there was a little boy that I was kind of worried about but the parents didn't seem to be overly concerned. And Diesel came flying through, grazed the leg of her, this woman's husband and down he went. He landed on Diesel um, and he didn't look happy. He was, I think he was a little pissed off. But you know what? We all kind of went and got out of the way because we saw, you know, how these guys were reacting to each other. And uh, it was a lot of fun to watch. But at the same time, that's a lot of powerhouse going through there. And, uh, and he got clipped. And he went down and it was like, well, dude, you know, you should have got out of the way and you should have been concerned about your child who was up kind of in the bush playing and they were going all the way in the bush and all the way down the path and they were going all over the place. If it was me, I would have picked up my kid, you know, but uh, he seemed like a bit of a dick, you know, and I felt really bad and I went over there and said, oh my God, are you okay? And he didn't say a word and he was just like Grrr. the wife was kind of giggling a little bit and then she was just like oh you know are you okay and he didn't say anything and he was just kind of snarly so I was like you know what F you then you know if you're gonna be like that you should have got out of the way you know and whatever so, so that was our eventful morning um, what else? I was gonna do, uh, excuse me, you're slobbering on me. Go away, go, go lay down. Okay, go lay down. Um, I was gonna do a, uh, yarn fairy, uh, video, but, um, cause I got, I got happy mail, but, um, they're small packages, so I'm just gonna do it here. And then I've got, I've, I have one, why, everybody calls them acclamations. And I, just, I just, it's like, I bought something. <laughs> I don't need a fancy name for it. I just bought something. Uh, and then I had, I have a whip and I have a finished object. And that's about it, I think. So, okay. So I opened these so that I wouldn't crinkle so much. But I was kind of surprised because this is from um, Sandra Tanner and she bought one of my books and I was mailing the book as I went to the post office. I opened it up and, and this was in there. It's from her and I was like, oh, isn't that weird? <laughs> so Sandra, your book is on the way. Okay, so what's this? Ooh, oh, no way. Oh, look at these stitch markers. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, and they can be they can be earrings too. <gasps> I've never had stitch markers like this before. Oh my god, these are so Oh, maybe they are earrings. I don't know, but I I can use them as earrings too. <gasps> oh, these are so pretty. Okay, hang on. Oh, this is so awesome. It is so Canadian. 
It's crazy. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I've got two of them. And I could totally use these as earrings. <laughs> oh my gosh. And look at these. Oh, these are so pretty. I guess I should have opened the, um, the letter first. Aren't those beautiful? Ah. Oh. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, what does this say? I hope it's okay to read this. Hi Sandy, congratulations on the release of your new book. I look forward to reading it. Your channel is such a joy to watch. I, I so love your joy and positive positivity. Uh, your joy and positivity are amazing. That said, I hurt myself. I'd hurt myself if I jumped around like you do. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I don't even know why I do it because I know I could possibly get hurt. <laughs> uh, I saw these and immediately thought of you and Debbie the Canadian crotcheter. I hope it's all right that I split them between you, the two. Uh, split them between you two since I couldn't decide who to give what. Um, bless you and have a great day. Love, Sandra Tanner. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Oh, they're amazing. I just, I love them. Oh, thank you so much, Sandra. That was so sweet of you. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, I will definitely get a lot of use out of these. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you so much. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, yay! And then I got another one um, from Natalie. And it's Natalie from Natalie's chest. Uh, chest. Natalie's closet. <laughs> she says, you did it. Um, so Sandy, congratulations. Congratulations on you reaching 500 subs. I love your channel. Thanks for all you do for your online family and, and sincerely thank you for supporting my channel. You're awesome. Aw, thanks Natalie. And she gave me a, she gave me her card and it says to receive 10% off your first order of her in her shop at Natalie's closet that is so cool and then she's got her YouTube her Instagram her Instagram is Natalie's closet 77 her Facebook page is Natalie's closet 77 and her Etsy is Natalie's closet 77 I will leave those links down below thank you so much Natalie that's awesome I'm totally going to go and check out your shop. Absolutely. So that was very sweet of you guys. Mwah. Thank you so much. That just, oh, I just, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. Um, I did a, another, another cowl and hat set. <laughs> so this one was actually made from three different yarns, which I just forgot to bring over here. Hold on. Okay. So like I said, I used three different types of yarn and I'll show it to you first. There. Oops. Okay. And then Here's the hat. And it's kind of a, a little bit of a slouchy, not much. Okay, so that's that. And what I did was, 
I used a pound of love, uh, Lion Heart, a Lion Brand yarns, pound of love, and um, this colorway is Claret. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that. And I use the Ice Yarns in Rainbow. Um, this was the, the brown, claret, and beige that I got in. Love that. And then, of course, I had to use a latte cake. And this one is the claret. So what I did was for, oops, for this part here, for this part here, I used the latte cake and, uh, what did I, yeah, the claret. Okay, so I put those two together for this part. And then for this part, I used the claret and the um, the ice yarn. So part of it's fuzzy, and then the other part isn't. And then it goes fuzzy. And then this part I just did, um, I didn't put the latte in it. So, yeah. <coughs> Bailey, no. Hey. <coughs> Bailey. Sorry. Bailey, stop. Stop no. it, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's a whole other issue with that one. Anyway, um, so I did that. And then, right now, I'm working on another one. And I'm using the ice yarns, but this one is the gray and brown rainbow. And I am loving the way this is turning out. Isn't that pretty? It's almost got like a blue gray to it. But it's just, it's turning out beautifully. Loving it. It's gonna look so good when it's finished. So that's the next one I'm making. <clears throat> And then I went to Walmart and I was trying to find the ribbon yarn that um, is going to be used for a scarf that, oh, oh my God, who's the one that's doing the scarf? Think, 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 Crystal from Chronically Crochet. She is doing a gorgeous, gorgeous... Really? <laughs> okay. She is doing an absolutely gorgeous shawl, or not a shawl, sorry, a scarf that is with this ribbon yarn. Oh, it's so pretty. I'll put a link down below. It's it's so pretty. I never in a million years would have thought that ribbon yarn would look that nice. I've never used it before because I just figured, what am I going to do with it? But this looks amazing. So she's working on the pattern right now, and it will be out hopefully in the next week. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So, but I can't find the yarn. She got it at. Um, she, I think she got it at a dollar store or something. And uh, everywhere I look, like on Amazon or eBay or whatever, it's like anywhere from 8 to $10 a ball. I was like, what? So um, she said that, oh, where was it? Love, uh, Love Yards or whatever it's called. Um, they would have it there, but they don't. So... I don't know where I'm gonna get this yarn, but anyways. So, anyways, I was I went that I went to Walmart to look for it and couldn't find it. But I did see this Brunette Velvet. 
in red. Now it's looking a lot brighter red in the video. It's a little bit darker. Uh, no, still too bright. But um, it's a beautiful Christmas red. Oh, what color is it? Uh, red. <laughs> That's the name of it, red. <laughs> How original. <laughs> so I had to get this because I've got all these other colors from Michaels. But this color was just like, yeah. Uh-huh. This would be amazing in a Scooty. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can use the velvet for the Scooty. Yes, you can. You can pretty much use almost any yarn for the Scooty pattern. Um, I'm actually, maybe that's what I'll do right now. I'll post some pictures of Scooties that I've done in the past uh, and show you, give you an idea of the different yar yarns. Why is it like most crocheters, they do this. They put their fingers in these holes at the ends and they just kind of play with the, uh, that's just so wrong on so many levels. I think I'm sick. <laughs> like, yeah, I got my thumbs in there and it's like, oh geez. Do you do that? I know, I know I, some of you I've seen do it. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's weirdly satisfying. But anyway, um, so yes, so I will do that. anything else there probably is a lot of something else but I'll leave that for tomorrow's vlog Odie is in fine form again today she's pooped like that walk took a lot out of her I think her fear took a lot out of her because she was so scared of getting trampled um, she's just looking at me like mom <laughs> it's like oh I'm so sorry so anyways um yeah so that's all I have for you today and uh, I will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow. Tia's going home tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. Babies. <laughs> She's going to be starting school on Monday. Yay! Can't wait to see how that's going to turn out. Um, so, yeah. Okay. I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye!